Stephen, thank you for the nomination in second. Uh, yo, we got a big job ahead of us. And you know me, and I know you. I've been down to Valdosta to your barbecue. I've been over to Savannah to your Buttermer dinner. I've been over to Augusta to your breakfast. I've been in Gwinnett County. When Joe, how many did we have? Six people that morning. And look what we built to now. I've been to Rome at the dinner at the State Park. I've been to Columbus to your JJ Day. Y'all, we've been shoulder to shoulder for years, and now we've got to look at our party and how we can take it forward. You know, the financing model we've had in the past is not working. We can't have one big party of the year in March and run out of money in May. You've heard from my emails what I've said. We, want, we need at least 2,000 Democrats to give an average of $25 a month. We can raise $50,000 a month and do the operation of our party and get the machine rolling again. We can take a great lesson from our president. And then let's have the JJ Day and let's raise money to fund our candidates and not just have a place they come to for a little advice, a place that can partner with them and give them the resources they need to win our statewide races. You see what the Republicans did in redistricting, but they cannot redistrict the state. And we know we're right on the issues that affect everyday Georgians. So let's get the money raised and then let's get who we are and why we are who we are out there in the streets with the people. You know, if we have a viable Democratic Party, we know we can change our state. You heard earlier, we know that the people talk about two Georgias, that one urban, one rural. You hear them talk about one gay, one straight, one black, one white, one young, one old. You've heard me say this before, we don't have two Georgias, we have three. We have the Georgia that was, we have the Georgia that is, and we have the Georgia that can be. And we have the Georgia that can be to say, it's not all right to keep teachers on furlough and continue to give tax breaks. Because the sales tax backs, there is no transportation plan under the leadership of this state. And who's talking about mass transit? It's Democrats. You'll never get to Athens, Chattanooga, or Macon on a train without Democrats in office in Georgia. And the biggest opportunity we have in defining who we are is in health care. Our government in Georgia said no to Medicare expansion and denied health care to hundreds and thousands of Georgians. It is wrong and we've got to have a strong, well-financed machine called the Democratic Party that believes in those principles and can get them out of the street and above the noise that the Republicans continue to put out. That's the Democratic Party. Now, folks, this is decision time today. We can't do the same thing we've been doing. We need to finance different. We've got to message different. We've got to work collectively with our county chairs and our local parties and build it from the grassroots. If we finance it from the grassroots, we can get the votes on the grassroots and we can get the message to the grassroots. But it will take a strong Democratic Party that is the Georgia Democratic Party. Not any one region's Democratic Party to make that work. That's the 30-second sign. <laughs> Folks, think today of the Georgia that can be. It will only be there to help the people that you and I care about with a strong, viable, well-financed Democratic Party. I ask for your support today. Let's do this together. <laughs>